Mr. Boaji, I, again, we, we hear stories every day about how resilient the Ghanaian economy has been. Uh, I, I, I've read some pieces uh, by Mr. Osafo, the, I've forgotten the other name, Mr. Osafo, who be, be, is in the CPP, but yeah, is known, Dr. Kweku Osafo, yeah. who, is, who is known to be a very good business person. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, speak about the fact that the Ghanaian economy has been very resilient. For example, in 2009, that it was very re resilient against the shocks that uh, were expected that had actually come within the period and that the economy was being grown uh, between four uh, is it four, four and six percent? Mm -hmm. The GDP, you know, was was quite good. But I'm looking at this report and say, is this report by the Africa magazine not a reflection of sort of how the economy also is doing? Well, let us distinguish between managing the economy and also developing businesses. Mm. In the first place, when you take the aggregate of private business in this country, you will include, obviously, the foreign direct investments. So they are part of it. And those injections into the economy clearly help to create a resilient economy. And that is why I am employed, mm. to go and get some of these investments into the country in order to bolster our, our economy. And um, that is fine. We are developing economy that is strange in many ways. At a time when world economies are depressing, we are either sustaining or growing. Mm. And this is like running against the tide. And that makes us feel good. But, but, that, but that's that the shows question again. the resistance, that, the that, resilience. That's the question again, mm. that if, if we're doing so well, mm. then it must reflect in how our companies perform? Our companies, I don't think they are not performing well. What we are looking at is the structure of these companies. Those who are here because they came as foreign direct investments are not wholly controlled here. You see, their level of operation, their level of capitalization and so on is, you know, um, is, is is foreign induced mm. and that is a very critical point that means their growth would be determined not only by their profitability here by the but by the decisions that are made also from outside the they companies. would say mm. that oh like Unilever and Standard Chartered and all these would say oh no um, we are autonomous in the country and you're autonomous as far as the decisions you make with the can within the country uh, are concerned. Mm. But when it comes to you being part of an international brotherhood, you cannot be autonomous. There's a global decision that will be made by Unilever and those decisions, I think, would affect your operation if they say that we should now cut on you know, investment. Um, you can't run counter to that mm. because it's, it's the policy of the, uh, the you know, uh, managers of the whole international business operation. The, the, see, to to, to now, the question I asked. The point is that you are looking at the resilience of the economy. It shows that the managers of the economy have done their job well or are doing a good job, that the public sector management of the economy, the Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Bank of Ghana, and so on, the economic management uh, team. team, and the, uh, the council that advises the president on the economy, they are doing well. You see, but that doesn't mean that they are necessarily bringing in business. Unless, of course, I, I don't I, understand. Why? What if they are doing well and we are not getting, in, they are not bringing in business. No, the instruments, the monetary and fiscal instruments that you use to manage the economy is done by not the businessman sitting in his factory, mm. but by the man who has been tasked. By the taxpayer. Tasked to do that job. And that is the Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Bank, 
he will determine what interest rates and, and so on. But then you see here again, if the economy is resilient, it is because of certain factors, variables that are being applied. The government, the base, the Bank of Ghana has reduced its, its rates. Base rates. Okay. You know, is it reflected in the commercial banks? Not so much. Only Agricultural Development Bank seems to be responding. And that, the, the, that's yeah. the problem again, isn't it? Well, if, yeah. If, and, if, then, and then if, also, if the Bank of Ghana, if the central bank mm -hmm. says that this is what it ought to be and it doesn't reflect, then you crack the whip. But it is the same central bank that is also borrowing from the uh, money market. So isn't it lucrative for me to buy government bonds if I'm a banker? Okay. <laughs> no.